Hello everyone and welcome back to Cronus Blindly Plays Phoenix Right Justice for All. Today, Gumshoe's gonna testify even more. We were looked into the handwriting, and unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting, because it wasn't the sand. It really doesn't need to be stated like that. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped underneath the victim's fingernails. There was also scratches on his skin that, caused him by, uh, that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we can confirm that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Hmm, yes, a perfectly logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Thanks, Your Honor! So, Gumshoe, how the hell could he have wrote it when he broke his neck? Uh, press. But can you really determine handwriting based on a sample of writing in sand? That's why amateurs are amateurs! We're not a bunch of simpletons, pal! Hmm... Really? Scientific investigation in this country is actually pretty good! Hmm, I believe it's time to get back to the real point. Agreed, Your Honor. So, what was the result of the investigation? So, in the end, you couldn't confirm it. Hey! Don't you look down on us! I told you, we're not a bunch of simpletons, pal! Everyone knows you can't find out everything you want with scientific investigation. I never heard that before. Oh, yeah, I know, me either. No, nor I, and I have an amnesia. I never heard anything like that at the police, that, police academy either, sir. Okay, so I made it up. Anyway. <laughs> Come shoot. Uh, his pointer finger? Which finger is that? You know the one where he's always pointing and waving around in people's face? <laughs> that's my favorite finger, next to the middle one. Don't tell me it bothers you. And every time you do it, I have a mini heart attack. It's like you're trying to kill me, pal. In any case, you examine the uh, victim's index finger, correct? Yeah, the, the, we figured this, he, there should be something on his finger if we had been writing in the sand. Hmm, and the results. And what does that prove? Well, it proves that he did write that name with his own finger. Yes, which explains why there was sand stuck underneath his, his nail. I guess he's right. And there's more! Scratches on his skin. Yep, you can see them with your naked eye, but they're there! That's incredible. Sure is! That's the power of scientific investigation! They're so small that... Oh, so you can't see him with your naked eye. They're so small that we had to use a magnifying glass. Like a really strong one. And it's got that really scientific sounding name. You mean a microscope? <laughs> yeah, that's it. We use one of those and that's how we find them. I can't believe this guy doesn't know what a microscope is. For this, we can confirm the victim. Yeah, uh, that's the last one to press. Are you absolutely sure? I believe in the power of science. Even though I just doubted it a minute ago. My, one of them, my evidence is solid enough to counter this. Listening to this, you would think there was only one conclusion. The name was definitely written by the victim. But you, don't you think that it would be really strange, sir? If Dustin really wrote the messages with his right hand, do you think he, I would have th gone? Uh, do you think I would have gone through much, so much trouble to get him? Oh, is he left-handed? The present. What's that? Okay. Uh, let's see. Right hand, okay. Present. So... It doesn't say anything about... It being a left-handed glove. But present, I guess. Detective Gumshoe, take a look at this. That's a glove, right? Could you tell the court what is special about this glove, aside from the fact that it looks like a bunch of bananas? Uh, what's special? Um, never really thought about it, but, uh, it's really yellow. I just said not that, I just said not to point that one out, and that's about it. Yes, it really is yellow, but that's only one of its qualities. Huh? There's another reason why it's special, and what would that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Left-handed? Why, wow, you're absolutely right. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. 
That is why... Uh, oh! Yeah, that makes sense. You throw the ball. <laughs> I don't... I don't know much about baseball as much as I like sports. It's just... I don't know anything about anything, to be quite honest. That's why it's made to be custom-made. i never heard, even seen a bright yellow left-hander's glove for sale. Have you? Well, um, no! So, Detective. Which hand did the victim use to write the name again? That's easy! Look, it's obvious from this picture that it was his... Wait a second! Don't forget that the victim was left-handed! Ugh! This, that, that is, I mean, I object! Overruled. Mr. Wright, I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. This is only one, there is only one conclusion that can be drawn. The left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore, the person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. Gumshoe. I know you have a crush on her. You didn't do it, did you? I'm assuming maybe it's the guy that bashed me in the head with a fire extinguisher, but still, when you think about it that way, then yes, it is not possible that this name was written by the victim himself. Then that means Maggie is. No, that's not possible, Mr. Payne. Y y yes, Your Honor. The evidence that the prosecutors have presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. No. All right, you did it, Mr. Wright! Oh, I feel like I can breathe again! It seems that we have reached the conclusion. You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, Your Honor? Huh, well, thanks. See, you got complete you got complimented by the judge again. You're, re you're really good! And that's why you can't give up on being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to do it for retire. The credits just start rolling. I will now announce my verdict. This court finds. No! Not yet! I mean, please give me a few moment, more minutes, Your Honor. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? The prosecutor's not finished yet! What do you mean? We would like to call our next witness! Ah, so the guy that bashed me in the head? What? And what did this witness witness? The moment the victim was pushed to his death! What's more, he saw the very face of the culprit! What the heck? I feel like that's something you should have probably started with. Order. Order in the court! I believe the recess is in order. Afterwards, we will hear from this new witness. I had a feeling that was a bit too easy. Huh. I need more information. I'll have to see what I can find out during this recess. Can't let my guard down. I'm only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess. To be continued? Well, that was a short game. Oh yeah, I should probably definitely save. I have not saved yet. Uh, oh! You don't give me separate save slots for each game? Really? That's shocking. Also, apparently it's been like three months since I played the first one. It's a little longer than I intended. I guess it's been more than three months, right? Yeah, because it's at the end of February now. Actually, it's been about four months. You're right. Holy shit. Uh, PWAA. Justice for All. Is that how I'm going to title these episodes? I have no clue yet. Maybe. I guess it'll make it fit, right? Uh, September 8th? Sure. A amnesia! I can't believe my lawyer's trying to defend me in such a state! I, uh... Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry. I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I, I know what to do. I heard you can fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. Come on! Lower your heads a little. A Maggie kick should be all you need! Uh, no, 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 no. I think I'll pass on that one. Come on! I I'm, I'm sorry. Whenever I see someone in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong, and I try to tackle everyone's problems. Well, my head's one problem you won't be tackling. Uh, well, we're here to solve your problem first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think you can fill me in on a few things? Maybe don't hit yourself so hard so you don't, you don't get amnesia? Of course, I'll be honored! Um, well... 
I guess we'll start with my name and when I can tell then I can tell you about me. No, 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 that's okay. Really, I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I was wondering if you could tell and help me figure out a few things about myself. So, my name is Phoenix Wright. What a weird name. Um, this is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back, and maybe it'll help. This is a business card. <laughs> I get this from you. It's my most prized possession. You can borrow it for now, but please give it back, okay? Okay. There's some some numbers written on the back. Oh, that's your cell phone number. Oh, yeah, okay. It's my business card. I hand wrote my cell phone number on the back. I guess for now we should stop talking about me and start talking about this case. This case? Yeah. Can you t think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Um, what can I tell you? Uh, um, hmm. I can't think of anything other than the, the incident with the cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah, your eyes lit up when we talked about it in the detention center, sir. Hurry up and tell me then. Uh, this might be very important. God, you have the same salute as Meekins. Okay, s Roger. It was on the day of the crime, just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while on walk with du on a walk with Dustin. Of course, you're wearing a blue badger shirt. Dots. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Beep. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad I called. We we can meet up and I can give this back. I was right there. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. Uh, okay. So, it was a setup. We did, we did agree to meet, at, uh, meet up at 6 p.m. Dustin and I waited for a person to show up, but they never did. Hmm. Huh. So, where's this phone you found? I gave to you yesterday. Huh, to me. Is this the phone in my pocket? You mean this? You Do you think it has anything to do with the murder? I don't really know, but if my eyes lit up... Uh, you were here all along! Oh, my, Maya, what are you doing here? You're so mean! I called you a million times and you wouldn't pick up! And when I went to check in the courtroom, everyone had already left! Ugh, now who the heck is this? Let me guess, I'm supposed to know this girl too. Hey, good morning, Maggie! Hey, good morning to you, Maya! So, so, how's it going? Is there a word for worse than ab abysmal? Oh, <laughs> and what if I said that everything will be fine? That's right, Miss it's Maya to the rescue with the ultra decipher of super important evidence! Here you are, Nick! The thing you wanted me to bring! Huh, oh, uh, thanks? What the heck is this, a list? It has, it's about 20 people's names and phone numbers written on it. It was kind of tough, but I managed to dig up some dirt. It looks like these guys are up to no good. No good, as in... There's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. I think these guys are members of the group. A list of unfamiliar names and phone numbers, members of a con artist group. Uh, why would a group of con artists pop in a case pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me! Huh, and where did you get this list from in the first place? What? Don't you remember, Nick? You're the one who asked me to look this up yesterday! Oh, uh, is that right? These numbers are in the memory of that phone Maggie found. Huh, so that's where this is from. You're awfully forgetful these days, Nick. I hope I never get to be a forgetful old prune like you. It happens to all of us. Uh, Maya, actually, Mr. Wright is... <sighs> Mr. Wright, the recess is now over. Please bring the defendant and return to the courtroom immediately. Oh, oops, guess you have to get going. We can have time to talk about being old later, Nick. Wish us luck. I guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. All that's left is to put it all together. I'm going to lose this. I, I'm not going to lose this. I can't. Come on, Nick. Better get a move on. Yeah. Mysterious girl who's looking at me funny. Oh, she's in our seat now. Or in Maggie's seat. Court will now reconvene. Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. But before I do, if I may say a few words. What is it, Mr. Payne? It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. So I ask that the court might be a little lenient on... There is no need to give a preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Yeah, yeah, yes, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the next witness. A drifter who was talking, uh, taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. 
A drifter? Please state your name for the court witness. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Uh, all right, go ahead. Just now, you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Perhaps a drifter who was taking a walk. Did, did, did I? But I will not stand for that. Now you've tinted the court's eyes and called me wrongly. Sure, I suppose call me a university student, but the... I, I can't read this fast. I can barely read in general. But going this fast is just insane. In the membrane. Insane in the brain! Yes, yes, I understand. God damn it, shut the fudge up. I'll be more careful next time. What is he, a human chatterbox? Uh, I have a question. I have to question him? Fashion, cars, women, glasses, and of course, university. First rate, only a need to fly. Glasses? But you aren't wearing glasses. That's enough. Your name, witness. Oh, is that how you want to play this? Using your power and influence to keep the young people down. I see how you work now. You old people and your dirty tricks. You thought you had me, but you thought wrong. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Oh, man. I forgive you. All right, I suppose I can tell you my name. I'm Richard Wellington, the drifting virtuoso, with a PhD in drifting, as it were. They don't have those! If you wanted to, you could call me a university student in transit. A dropout? Ahem. Mr. Wellington, on the day of the murder, you were taking a, a strolling through the park, correct? It would appear that you are attached to that word. If you must, then by all means. But I remind you that I am in no way a prepubescent boy out on a walk with mummy. If you must know, I... Anyway, please testify to the court what you saw during your walk in the park. See, you said it again. Taking a walk. You know you... Would you... What you witnessed... Will, what you witnessed will do, Mr. Wellington. What I saw that day... I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All of a sudden, a police officer fell from above, right in front of my eye. Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that of the pretty defendant there. The only thing, the only other thing I saw was the banana that fell from the police with the police officer. Hmm, that was certainly a decisive testimony. Decisive, Nick! Did you hear what he just said? Yeah. That's all you have to say? How can you be so calm? It's strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Maybe it's because I believe my in my client? You mean Maggie? Yeah. And if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy's lying. You may question the witness, Mr. Wright. I'll find out the truth, no matter how well you craft your lies. Alright, so... Press! So you were at the park all afternoon. You seem to have a lot of free time. Huh. That was very rude of you, but then again, what can I expect? That's what you get from a man who graduated from a no-name trashy university. No name? Trashy? Now, this might be hard for a mush-headed, feeble-minded baboon like you, but... I have to think very carefully about the future of our great country. But I thought you said you were thinking about which college you just go college to go to just now. Oh, please! I wish university I go to will directly affect the future of this country! That arrogant little snot. How did you know what time it was? You, I see you're not wearing a watch, so... Is that the best you can do? Do you think you can discredit me like that? You're just a third-rate biased fool. I guess I can't expect real smudge from you. Ugh, his arrogance is really adorable. Uh, press order. Any answer the question. How did you know what time it was? Tiss, tiss, tiss. I can't believe I have to deal with a worm like you. You're just a shallow man who will only slam on desk and point at people for fun. Uh, I guess I don't have a choice. I'll try to explain it so that <clears throat> so that even a third-rate simpleton like you can understand. There was this uh, this little thing they call a clock at the park. Do you get that? Do you know what a clock is? It's a thing that you tell that tells you the time. As you can see, Mr. Wright, it's even in this picture of the crime scene. Oh, so it is. I looked at the clock, and that's how I knew the time. 
But if you ask me, this whole concept of breaking time apart, blah, 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 blah. And yet again, another flood of meaningless words. Talk about the first class waste of time. In any case, can we call him that to his face? And how did you know she was a police officer? Or he was a police officer? You obviously have no idea how powerful my deductive reasoning skills are. With one glance, I could tell just what kind of occupation he held. That shoddy do-it-yourself hairstyle. Blah, 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 blah. Also, he, I suppose he was a golf because he was wearing a uniform. Shouldn't that statement have come first? Wow, that's pretty impressive. Hey, Nick, do you think he's figured what I, uh, what I do? Even I haven't figured that, out, <laughs> figured that out yet. Without a thought... Are you sure you got a good look at her face? Animals have this thing called an eye, Mr. Wright. They actually usually have two of them. They use this eye to see things. In the case of humans, we have two of them. Yes, even you! I don't care if I have them or not. Did you or did you not get a clear look at her face? That's what the witness was just about to get to. I would like to request that Mr. Wright not use such a loud voice during questioning. Sustain. Mr. Wright, please refrain from you raising your voice in this court. Then please don't make me have to raise my voice. Say that out loud. Are you finished? I'd like to continue if that's all right with you. So you're sure you're not mistaken? Please, don't confuse your pitiful train wreck of a life with mine. I mean, it's only a train wreck because I don't apparently charge people for the defense. I'm what you call a famous brand name product. While you're only a cheap imitation, I have a feeling everything you own is a cheap imitation. There's no way someone as magnificent as myself could have made a mistake. Of course, of course. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Of course. Did you notice anything else of interest, witness? The banana? Well, it was actually more than just one. More like a bunch of bananas. Now that, what would a bunch of bananas be doing there? And why would I know such a thing? I'm only telling you what I saw. That's really strange. Maggie never mentioned anything about a bunch of bananas. That's it, Nick! He's gotta be lying with the bananas! Huh. He could be, but... There's no reason for him to lie about there being bananas at the crime scene. And what if it's not a lie? Well, maybe you thought he was seeing something at one thing and it was something else? If he mistook something else for a bunch of bananas, then that would be an inaccuracy. Think, Phoenix, think. If my client is innocent, there's no way he could have seen what he what he says he did. Which means he can't have... He, if we can somehow show he's lying... Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. She's right. She's got a sharp mind, but I just wish I could remember who she is. Phoenix, is everything all right, Nick? No. <laughs> Because apparently I don't know who you are. Also, when did you come back? And how long have we been working together since the last game? Alright, so present this bunch of bananas. Mr. Wellington, I believe I have the bananas you saw right here. Ah, so you knew about the bananas too. Why didn't you say so earlier? But don't think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's where you'd be wrong. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Huh? W what? A baseball glove? Doesn't look, doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? That, that's, that's not, it's a, no! Your honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This witness has bad eyesight. By the way, just how bad are your eyes? Huh? Oh, how? Wh why are you asking me about this all of a sudden? Your Honor, it's a very simple mistake, a glove for a bunch of bananas. No, I don't think so. Objection overruled. You, 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 you're the, one of those people, yes. You know what I mean. You're like those people who refuse to accept blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on, get to the end, because I can't read this fast. So it was your glasses that were crushed, is that it? 
And that's why I asked you how. And that's why I asked you how bad your eyesight is. <laughs> They're both twenty slash two hundred. I suppose you're going to tell me that's terrible, right? Why are you not wearing your glasses today, then? Um, that's because I lost them recently. You see, of course, I was planning on getting a new pair right made right away. But you know, my glasses are no ordinary glasses, so to re replace them. How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? Oh, jeez, don't choke yourself. I mean, if you're a murderer, go right ahead, but still. How about it, witness? You're an unrelenting evil man. You're like those people who blah, 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 blah. Joan of Arc. Which boils down to you, uh, to were you not wearing, you were not wearing your glasses at the time. Therefore, the identity of the woman at the cream, uh, scene of the crime and that of the defendant cannot be proven to be the same as the uh, by this witness. But the height difference was only nine feet. It was very possible to see the face of the culprit standing on the upper path. I apparently ran out of breath there when I was saying path. Hmm, witness. <clears throat> hmm, witness. Hmm, witness. Please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember, a person's life is at stake. H yes, Your Honor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Please tell the court what happened next in the moment uh, in the moments after you witnessed the crime. Yeah, but can you do that like next time? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below. If you're not subscribed yet, one of my videos, I can check out some of the content, see if you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.